Hi Rachel, so now I can see you've got the concepts down with these scales. There are just a couple of technical matters. Um, first of all, uh, tints is meant to end in a pure white. And your black is not a pure black. However, your gray is pure. Uh, I noticed that the top left square, um, that first one in tints, doesn't match the RGB values of the two directly below it. And with tones, the hardest one value could be a little more constant, but good work so far. Courtney, your scales look great, and um, the gradation of value there on the left is okay. Gradation of hue is supposed to show all colors fully saturated, and none of these are. Your gradation of um, saturation is quite good, and it makes it with a grayscale test, as does your tone scale. Hi, L.A., I hope I'm saying your name okay here. You know, things look pretty good with these scales. Um, just a couple of notes. Maybe there could be more transition occurring in the earlier part of tints, and perhaps things could be more constant value-wise with tones, but really these are quite good. Now, with your assignment for work, these ought to be perfect circles. Um, you do have a good gradation of value. With the gradation of hue, um, that may work best in the area from cyan to green. Remember, gradation is a gradual transition. So where we see blue right next to violet or magenta, that's rather abrupt and not so gradual. Now, looking at your um, gradation of saturation, which I believe is the one on the right, Value has not been held constant. Then as I've been doing with all of these scales, I took the color picker to yours and it checks out okay. The only little thing is that maybe value could be more constant in tones. With your assignment for work, I think you've got the concepts. The matter is that mm, the gradation of saturation is a tricky thing to manage. One way you could do this is to take a color and then make a copy of a swatch. Uh, image mode grayscale, use that to sample a gray that was the very same value as your colored swatch, and then create a gradient between those two using the gradient tool. Then every color on that gradient will be same in value and from one hue. Um, let's see, you know, I'm just hoping for more definitive design sensibility with these compositions from you and your classmates coming up soon. Hi, Vita. Your skills show that you really have the concepts down. You know, I checked this with a color picker, and the only little things I see are that your black is not true black, and your gray at the end of tones is just a hair off. Um, you are good at keeping value constant in tone scale. I would say that, um, you know, uh, neatness in presentation could be attended to a little more here. Now, I only got one part of the three-part assignment four from you, and this one happens to work pretty well for the gradation of saturation. Remember that the hue should be constant with that. Hi, Justin. Things look pretty good with your scales. Remember, with tints, you are intended to end with white, and I want you to check the RGB values for perfect black. Also, is your gray at the end of tones just a little bit dark? That color is nearly black, and when I do the grayscale test on your tone scale, I see that it's getting a little darker in value toward the right. Now, I can uh, tell looking at these works for assignment four that you have the concepts down. On the left ones, the gradation of value, then gradation of hue in the middle, and gradation of saturation at the right. You are guilty of not using all perfect circles. However, I will applaud your design ideas. Jay, your work shows that you have the concepts down, but I need you to take more care and to be precise with your work for our class. Um, let's take a look at the scales there uh, at the left. All three boxes should have the same RGB values exactly. And at right, 
um, and shade should end in uh, 0, 0, 0 RGB values for black. Um, at the end of tones, you want a gray that's the same value as the first leftmost square, and it should be um, entirely neutral with R, G, and B values all the same. With um, your work for assignment four, well, the concepts are there. However, the compositions are lacking, and each of these should be presented separately as a design in its own right and a work that is portfolio worthy. Um, I want to take a look at the gradation and saturation, which actually has a more compelling design. Here, hue should be constant, so all colors should come from one color picker field. Cody, things check out well here with the scales and the color picker. Um, tones is constant in value, has a fixed value across that scale. Good work there with a hard task. Um, I like the precision that I see in the gradation of value there at left. In center, your gradation of hue doesn't show a gradual transition. There just aren't enough color shapes. And with your gradation of saturation at right, you've achieved constant value um, with constant hue also. However, this design could be more complex. Hi, Caitlin, with your scales, things check out pretty well. I can see by eyeballing that shades is not ending in a pure black. And when I do um, a gray scale test, um, uh, it appears that the value in tones is getting a little darker toward the right. My, don't you have a lot of great design ideas. In the gradation of value at left, things look quite good. Maybe hue could be more constant. With your gradation of hue in the center, all the colors should be fully saturated. And your gradation of saturation checks out pretty well there on the right. Hi, Eric. Things check out pretty well with your scales. The only problems I see have to do with tones. It doesn't appear that gray has been added um, uh, on a regular basis. Suddenly we see gray at the right end. Maybe otherwise black was added. I'm not sure. When I take uh, this and it's subjected to the gray scale test, I, I can see there is fluctuation in value with the tone scale. Now, with your work for assignment for, well, someone could debate whether or not you kept hue constant with the gradation of value when the backdrop is green, a second color. But the uh, gradation is quite good. In gradation of hue, colors should all be fully saturated so we can see clearly there are some tints here. With gradation of saturation, you're getting there. This is not constant value, but it's close. I like your sense of design here. I'd like to see more complex designs from you and several of your peers. Um, in addition, I would like you to remove stroke from Illustrator files for the time being. When we get into the final project assignment starting week five, you will be welcome to use that then. Hi, Bob. Clearly, you have the concepts here with the scales. It wouldn't be a bad idea to label them just so that you're sure you know what's what. Top, we have the DIN scale. Now, that should end in a pure white, 255, 255, 255 should be the R, G, and B values. And with black, you ought to have 0, 0, 0 for those same values. I do notice that you've got a true uh, gray, a true neutral at the end of tones. At the leftmost side of the scales, all those three boxes should have the same RGB values. So I'd like you to be more of a stickler when choosing colors. Now, taking a look at your mm, Assignment 4 work, the gradation of value at left is good, and you have the idea with the gradation of hue. However, those colors should all be fully saturated, and I would like to see a more original design. Um, your gradation of saturation on the right is quite good. However, it doesn't use circles, and speaking of circles, the circles that you do use ought to be perfect.